Guy disappears on his way to his daughter's birth part 2. Continuing from the guy that disappeared on his daughter's birthday. The police quickly determine the cause of death to be a suicide and hand over all of Mateusz's stuff back to his family. Here's where things get even weirder. Four days after having found his body, Mateusz's family found his shoe in the barn with his severed edit, let's say detached to avoid confusion, foot still inside it. This points to the police not having done a very good job at collecting evidence and also brings up the question of why this didn't come up during the autopsy. Furthermore, some, or all, not sure about this, of Mateusz's teeth are knocked out and stuck to his clothes with what seems to be blood. While a head can get severed after a body has hung for some time on a noose, it is rather difficult for teeth to get knocked out post-mortem. There also seem to be bloody patches on his clothes, although these are difficult to distinguish considering the clothes are fairly dirty. Inside his backpack, there is a Polish water bottle with cigarette butts inside and an orange juice box. Mateusz's family all claim that he never drank orange juice, it's implied he disliked it. All of this potential evidence is released without any analysis by the police. The biggest mystery of all is his car to this day, it hasn't been found or seen. Not in Poland, not in Germany, not anywhere. The keys and vehicle registration were never found either, despite his wallet having been in that backpack. Furthermore, his phone was among the things found, and there was one more call to his uncle on March 30th, this seems like an accidental dial as it only lasted for less than a second and never got through, the uncle never received anything. Moreover, the attic, where his body apparently hung, is more or less in full view from the ground inside the barn, and the family says that they used the barn throughout the summer, so it's very unlikely they wouldn't notice a hanging body. I think it's also strange that, given how tiny Mateusz's village was, no one noticed Mateusz, or anyone else, wandering around and trying to gain access to the barn. On one of the shows, a prosecutor, not the investigating one, also claimed that they found public transit tickets from cities in Germany at it, this is incorrect, I re-watched one of the sources and the prosecutor claims that it was public transport tickets from Poland, not Germany, dated past his disappearance. The police and public prosecutor maintained that the death was a suicide and refused to investigate further, despite appeals and efforts by the family. I'm personally quite baffled as to what could have gone down here. Suicide seems unlikely as the guy had a fiancé and a kid on the way, although it's never quite certain what goes on in someone's head. On the other hand, if someone did indeed kill Mateusz, whether on purpose or accidentally, and then staged his suicide, how did they manage to sneak into a village that is so tiny that any stranger immediately stands out? The public transit tickets also seem strange. One more thing that fascinates me is how the missing white woman syndrome works here. There are a dozen cases of women who went missing, under much less mysterious circumstances, that got an incredible amount of media coverage in Poland, thanks to which, some even made it to this sub. I'd have never heard of this guy if it hadn't been for a Polish true crime podcast.